be expecting from the Nigerian Senate? Well, we've just returned from uh, about six weeks uh, break and um, we were with our people in our various constituencies and we were in Nigeria as well, most of us. So um, the things that uh, developed within the vacation are things that are very worrisome. The ever soaring prices of goods and services and then uh, the confusion in our petroleum sector, where um, the very thing God gave us, instead of our harnessing it to the benefit of Nigerians, we've continued to suffer. We've been plunged into deep crisis. You know, that today, um, from something that started very small, we have now gone into a very palpable crisis that even petroleum products are no longer affordable by Nigerians. And uh, uh, the primary uh, 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 material for producing this thing, the raw material for producing these products are in our ground here. So it's very unfortunate. Our people are grieving. People are suffering. The pangs of hardship uh, are so much in the system. So now that we have returned from the recess, we have to tell ourselves the truth and uh, immediately stand on the side of the Nigerian people and see what we can do to alleviate the sufferings of the people, remove all the bottlenecks in the downstream sector of the Nigerian uh, petroleum sector, and then look at those who are managing the sector. Uh, uh, some of us have in granted interviews within the vacation when the prices soared to 1,250 naira per liter of petrol, we couldn't wait for us to resume. So I went on television and I said that the president should do something. Uh, those people who are managing our petroleum resources uh, cannot give us any reason, no justification, why we can no longer afford petroleum products, PMS, uh, diesel, kero, and all that. It's, it's, a, it's a very terrible, not just nostalgic feeling of the past when these things were available. At some time, PMS was 20 kobo per liter, 40 kobo, 70 kobo. And from now, we are at 1,000 uh, uh, 1, plus. You know. So it's no longer acceptable. We have to search for a solution to it. And I believe the first step will be to look at those who are there. If they have not been able to do anything in the past five, six years, uh, there's no reason why they should not yield their spaces to other people. Let us see how we can truthfully, frankly, and passionately deal with the problems. Yes, so that is what um, we should uh, deal with, number one. The energy crisis, the crisis in the petroleum sector should be number one in this chamber where we come back from tomorrow. All right, sir. Thank you, sir.